Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got another space weather event to dive into. Could have double impact coming here on deck. We'll also quickly check in on Major Hurricane Kiko and see the discovery of something I really can't believe they're just discovering now. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were pretty quiet. No significant solar flares, no eruptive events sending plasma our way. Next coronal hole incoming from the left while the previous one departs. And so let's go to the small eruption we focused on yesterday. The small and potent pop near center disk did eject plasma. And while we did show the faint CME signal signature on coronagraphs in the morning show, now the NASA endless spiral shows a fairly significant CME heading right towards the Earth, set to arrive tomorrow. NOAA has not weighed in on this event. The interesting thing is we are also waiting for the impact from the corona hole stream of the now departing opening. That is due today, and so if geomagnetic unrest lasts until CME impact tomorrow, it could be a one-two punch. Probably still not scary, but it could surge the condition to much higher levels than it otherwise would have. Also, that next corona hole incoming looks beastly as well. Eyes open on all of this. Folks, this is the Enhanced Infrared Storm Centered look at Major Hurricane Kiko in the Pacific. It is a beast and it is looking like it will just skim past Hawaii. That is close enough, however, that close monitoring is vital for those on the island state. Lastly, on the science front, they discovered a preposterously massive molecular cloud near the galactic center and in one of the dusty lanes feeding the galactic core. Some of the most studied things near the center of the Milky Way, by the way. And so when you can't see stuff like this until now, and when the top infrared astronomers say we may be missing up to half the dust in the universe, you kind of start to wonder if they really know as much about space as they say they do. Quick note for everyone who backed the Kickstarter project for the documentary film. Your survey is in your email. One third of you responded on the first day. That's pretty good. Need your name for credit on the documentary support and sponsorship. And if you don't answer the survey, I'll probably just use your Kickstarter username. Folks, there's a lot happening before the end of the year at Observer Ranch. Be sure to go to ObserverRanch.com to register and book your stay or just give us a call. Some events are filling fast. Others will not be available for last second registration if you just try to show up for them. October prepping events are run by world experts. I would strongly consider those. Plan that trip now. And for November, tactical training to kick off the month in round two of the wildly successful Observer Speed Dating, then the film premiere and pole shift conference weekend, and potluck for Thanksgiving. ObserverRanch.com. We can't wait to see you in person. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.